expenses to be very sad. Uh, anyway, so three into three grade, right? So nine squares, nine squares, right? Now the volume of each square, the volume of each square, write down. That is one millimeter. One millimeter. One millimeter is the volume of each square. One millimeter is the volume of each square. Then there is a depth to new bar chamber. Okay, there is a small depth to it. I will let you know what is that depth. So the depth is write down zero point one. Depth. Depth is zero point one mm. Zero point one mm is the depth of the new bar chamber. Zero point one mm is the depth of the new bar chamber. Is it clear? Now listen. Uh, the four corner squares, four corners, uh, four corner squares are subdivided into four into four. Four into four grid. Small squares, okay. One, two, three, four. 
these are four corner small squares or central square plus the central small square central small square four corner corner plus central small square these five squares are very important for us in this five squares we are going to count the letter cells
So we already placed the cover slip. After that, you will from side ports with the micro pipette, you will draw the bread and bread will automatically fill in the uh, space. Okay. So there are two grids, one grid in the bottom and one grid in the top. So each newborn chamber has two grids. Okay. So yeah, these are the some important dimensions of newborn chamber. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, Abhishek. Any doubts? You know, actually, this central drop it was subdivided like this. One grid here, one grid here. Yeah, two two grids are there. Two entire squares, uh, two nine nine squares are available on both the sides. Okay, you can check it once if you will understand. See. You can see on the microscope. Microscope will be better idea. Okay. 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 Your today's experiment will be no need to count the cells, at least to understand the grid. See various locations of the grid under microscope. Try to isolate, uh, try to locate where is the largest square, where is the central square, and where are the five small squares of the central square. Okay, that will be today's experiment. Then listen. Coming to the RBC test. Now, RBC will be RBC will be diluted with a diluent fluid. Okay, with a diluent fluid. Can you guess what is the diluent name? What fluid we will use to dissolve the red blood cells? Now listen, this fluid, what it will do is, it will preserve, it will preserve red blood cell morphology and it will destroy WBC. This fluid will preserve the red blood cells and it will destroy the WBC. If not, WBC will interfere with our count. Okay, this fluid is called as yes, any gases? Cane's fluid. Okay, H A Y M S. Cane's fluid. Clear. R B C diluted fluid is called as Cane's <coughs> fluid. Okay. So this is Cane's fluid. Okay, this is Cane's fluid. I am writing here itself WBC diluting fluid. WBC diluting fluid is called as any gases? Turks fluid. Turks fluid for WBC dilution, whereas Cairns fluid is for RBC dilution. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, PURKS, Turks, PURKS. Turks fluid, okay? Yeah. Now listen, another important thing. Dilution factor. Now I am giving you a new term called dilution factor. So this dilution factor was internationally standardized. <coughs> okay? That means how much RBC should be diluted with the fluid? Okay? The dilution factor for RBC is 1 means to 200. You blindly remember this uh, dilution factor, okay? The dilution factor for RBC count is 1 is to 200. Whereas diluting factor for uh, uh, WBC is 1 is to 20. Okay? 1 is to 20 for WBC diluting. Whereas 1 is to 200 for RBC diluting factor. These are called as diluting factors. <coughs> I will let you know what are diluting factors later. You remember these things. Yeah. Hmm? One part of bread and two hundred parts of diluting fluid. 1 and 200 parts, that's it, that is the diluting factor. Okay? 
one part of blend with 200 parts of dilutic uh, fluid. Clear? Yes. Sir. Yeah. Next. So, how to achieve this uh, 1 is to 200 dilution factor? Okay. Very simple. So, we have a, <coughs> a, sub, uh, a modified pipette called as RBC pipette. Okay. Now, I will draw RBC as the WBC pipette. Simultaneously, you will get some idea uh, like this. Then, uh, there is a bottom. Okay. Yeah. Now, listen. The bottom is always 0 0.5, 0 0.5 microliters. 0.5 microliters. Okay. Now, this is a RBC pipette. This is WBC pipette. This is the pipe. Okay. Q. Now see. In the RBC pipette, inside the bulb, inside the bulb, there is a red bead. That's it. A small red bead was available. A red color bead. Representing RBC. <coughs> Here it is white in color. White color bead is available in the WBC paper. Whereas in RBC paper, red color bead is available. Is it clear? Yes. Then, there is an upper marking above the bulb. The upper marking is very important. The upper marking for RBC is 101. Very, very important. Whereas for WBC, the upper marking will be 11. So these are the important markings of our equipment okay, used in our RBC form. 101 for RBC, 11 for WBC. Okay. So what is the purpose of this bulb? Any idea? I will let you know. Listen. So you have taken the blood sample. Okay. Blood sample will be collected up to 0 0.5 mark. Up to 0 0.5 mark you will collect the blood sample. Right. After collecting blood sample, now you will take the Cain's fluid. Uh, Cain's fluid. Right. Now you will start drawing Cain's fluid. Now what happens, Cain's fluid will take the blood and the blood will be mixed here. Up to here you will take the Cain's fluid. Up to 101 mark you will take Cain's fluid. Now in this bulb you will mix the blood. Even distribution. In this bulb you will do like this, so the blood will be mixed. That is the purpose of this bulb. Okay. <coughs> so, yeah. Clear? So now you have mixed for next to 2 minutes. 2 to 3 minutes you have mixed it with the time for you. Next what you will do? You will take your newborn chamber. You will place the cover slip. Right? Now you will discard the first drop. You will discard the first drop with, uh, to the bottom. Then you will charge the newborn chamber. Just one drop of blood will be added here and it blood will automatically spread across the tower slip. Okay? After adding the blood, you need to wait for next to 2 to 3 minutes. Why? Because the RBCs will settle down. In this 2 to 3 minutes, RBCs will settle down. After settling down, you will start counting the cells. Where you will count the red blood cells? You will count in the five small squares of central square. You will start counting RBCs in the five small squares of central square. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yeah, this is the PRBC test. <coughs> so how you will count? Listen. So you will draw for, uh, five squares like this on a piece of paper. Right? You will draw five squares. And uh, how these squares are further for divided? Four into four. Yes. So this is very lengthy procedure actually. See what happens. Now listen. Now you will start 
counting cells here in this first box. How many cells are there? Maybe four, eight, sixteen, twenty-two, twenty-one, two, one, two, two, six, eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven, two. So similarly, you will start counting all five squares, and you will write your numbers here. This is a manual counting. Very easy. Twenty-two. So you need to count like this. Okay. Yeah, it will take almost one and a half hours to count the complete red blood cells. Okay. Yes. <coughs> After counting the cells, you need to apply a formula. Write down the calculation now, everyone. RBC calculation. Calculation for RBC form. Write down. Calculation. Very important. So, in a nutshell, the calculation goes like this: n into 10,000. Simple. This is the final step of calculation. Keep in mind: n into 10,000 for RBC, whereas for WBC, this is n into 50. Keep in mind. <coughs> so, what is this n into 10,000? Simple. The sum of this one, maybe sum of this is around the four hundred, four hundred into ten thousand will be your RBC count. Here, M into fifty, maybe the total count was around one fifty, one fifty into fifty. That will be your RBC count. So you might ask me, what is this ten thousand? How we got this ten thousand value? That is where the calculation comes from. Right now, the calculation for RBC count. <coughs> Sorry. Hmm. Right now, the calculation volume of area in which RBC counted in five squares. Volume of area in which are we counted in five squares? You are counting in the five squares of center square, right? Yeah, right now. That is one by five into one by five. Okay. Into zero point one is the depth of your watch hour. Into five squares. Five squares, millimeter cube, millimeter cube. One fifth into one fifth into depth into five squares, millimeter cube. Because it's a volume, so cube. Okay. That we call one point fifty millimeter cube. That we call to one point fifty millimeter cube. Next one. Next. Therefore, number of RBC in 150 millimeter cube is equal to n. So simple. 
we have included depth, area, and uh, volume of the each square, or five squares of the central square, leading to the 10,000 value. We have considered all the areas and the depth, including dilation factor. Okay, that is how we got the carry to 10,000. Yeah. So, you need not to do all these uh, uh, complicated calculations. Directly, you can write 10 into 10,000. We know how 10,000 came, considering all these things, area, depth, and dilution. Clear? <coughs> Same goes for WBC that is N into 50. That's it, okay? Yeah. Is RBC that you think, uh, is RBC count clear to everyone? Yes, sir. The test is very simple. You will take a pipette, you will take uh, 0 0.5 ml of bread, and uh, you will collect the against it up to 101, you will mix it, then you will charge the new chamber and start counting the cells. Where you will count? In the central square, five small squares of central square. Then after the uh, sum of all count into 10,000. Will be RBC count. Now listen, this machine can count RBC in 60 seconds. Okay. And manual count will take two hours. So what is best method? Manual or this one? Manual. Manual. Why? If this machine giving abnormally low value, maybe 3 million cells, then you should manually count it, whether it is really the representation or not. Actually, 3000 means patient might die, mm -hmm. severe anatomy. Yeah. Uh, increased RBC count is called as the condition, any idea? Cytopenia. Oh. No, no. Cytopenia is reduced to count. Yeah. Increased RBC count is called as what? Huh? Leucos erythrocytosis. Leucocytosis, white blood cells, right? Leukopenia. That is white blood cells. Increased RBC count is called as? Huh? Where is the other one? Uh, erythropoiesis, who is this now? So you don't know. Shall I say the answer? No. Ah, very good. Someone say the answer. Polycythemia. Yes. Okay. Polycythemia. Increased RBC count is called as polycythemia. Okay. Yeah. Decreased uh, RBC count is called as anemia. Anemia. That's it. Okay. There is no other word. Ah, yes, get ready then. Abhishek, uh, connect this one.